All right, guys. Hey, I'm out here by my indoor growing spot. And uh, as you can see, I got my lights. So they are all on. I need these all on too. Now, um, these will be lowered, dropped right on down on top of the plants when I get done. But I'm putting my seeds in. But I did want to show you something. Okay, what I do here, my gardening. Look at her. <laughs> the little one's in the crate today. He's not doing good today. Anyway, what I do is I do the um, hydroponics wicking system method on my uh, growing my seeds. I started that last year and it worked out perfectly. I and it was great. So. And how you do that is what you're going to end up with. I'm going to show you now. I've been doing this for a while already, getting going with it. Push that aside for right now. But what's going to happen is we're going to fill these containers up with water to about right around here, just below the cups. So the only thing that's going to be setting in there is the wicking string. I'll show you how you do that. I will link you in my description on how I cut these lids, how I did all this stuff last year. So, and then what we do is these wicking strings you can buy the wicking string it comes in a, a big clump and then you cut it um, it's better not to use a razor blade but I use a pair of cutters cuts real easy simple easy um, what I've done was I took the roll I actually marked on my counter on my table black mark you got one here and you got one here and what I do is I just unroll it put the string here stretch it to here or not stretch it just let it lay right there and I cut it I think that's 22 inches so I don't have to sit here with a tape measure and get it every time. Well, the purpose is we want to have probably, eh, that's about five inches, maybe six inches hanging out of the cup. And then what's going to happen is, is we're going to put it in the cup. We're going to put the dirt in there and we're going to start taking the, the uh, string and we're going to turn it, you know, spiral it going up. So as you fill your, you put your, um, you saw your potting soil in here, it's just turning up. A spiral case and you pack it and there you go that's how that all works so um the potty mix i use right there is the potty mix from lowe's and i also add just about a handful one bag of this potting mix in this tub to one of those containers of hot water to three handfuls of the cow manure i put it in here i mix it up really good and that's what I do. All right, let me show you how I do this, and then we'll go from here. Um, as you can see, I was going to show you this. I've got this. I don't know if you can read it. It says old seed, old seed. That is old seed. Three years ago, I had those seeds. And uh, and I've got uh, one, two, three, four uh, tomato plants that are new this year that I ordered up. I want to see if the three-year-old seed will continue growing. Um, I'm not into growing huge amount of tomato plants anymore. I have stocked up on my sauces now. I'll probably grow five, maybe probably five tomato plants. We'll just see how it goes. I may, we'll just see how it goes. And then uh, we'll get peppers going again this year. So let's go ahead and let me show you how I do this here with my, my uh, cups, solo cups. I put a hole in the bottom of the solo cup and the string comes through. But let me show you what I do. And uh, all right. So that's about three, there's about six inches right there, under there. And so what you're gonna do is I just make, make sure that rope is kind of in the center. I'll grab some of the soil, throw the soil in there and I kind of pounce it around a little bit. I kind of wanna take this screwdriver, you know, kind of pack it in the bottom so there's not a big air pocket for it. Another big thing, the reason why you wet your soil, because this wicking rod will take so long to wick up. So get this thing nice, I mean, I don't know if you could see it, uh, but literally you could squeeze water out of it is what I want. And when you do that, when you squeeze water out of it, believe it or not, is enough water where your wicking right now is dripping water from the soil. So that's what we want. So let's keep, now what I'm going to do is you, if you see that right there, now I'm going to go ahead and put some soil on the top. And then I just start turning the string around, laying the string in here. Whoop, let's go this way. And it does not have to be for perfect, guys. You're just trying to get the soil wet at all times all the way around. Now, can you see how that's done like a half a circle? So now I'm going to put some soil down the bottom side of that. 
Now I'm going to continue up, kind of like up a ladder, you would say. So there you go. So now we're going to put some more soil on the top of that. And we're just going to keep right on going. And yeah, you're going to get muddy. Okay, I want to put some soil up here because it's a little low. There it is. Now there we go. We're just turn. I turn the string as I turn, make go around, and it helps it lay it down. Like I said, it's not. You don't have to be perfect with it. You just need it to go up, go up. So we'll put some there, and now we're just going to keep on wicking up. There's that. Let me put some more here. I just bring it right on up and keep right on going. So it gets to the top. We want that string, that, that wicking rope, to get up top. And we'll just finish it off. So there you go. That's all finished up looking good. A little more over here. And now I just I just stick that. I see how long it is. Now I did I did pull up on it, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull down just a little bit. It's like a little bit more string hanging out because you do want that string to eventually what's going to happen it will sit in the water in the container and i will show you that in a minute now with these seeds it requires a one eighth inch um depth for your tomato seeds so what i'll just do is i just use that real quick and i go down about an eighth inch i do three seeds per that's a piece of wood get rid of that three seeds per cup And these, like I said, this right now is uh, three years ago seeds. And this is a test to see if they're going to work. I'm going to tap them down. There we go. All right. So basically what's going on is I need to mark that old seed also. I just really want to see how they're going to do. All right. It's marked old seed. So basically my tomato bunch is set. Here it is, and now we're gonna let it grow. Um, I'll get fill this up with water. We'll put some water in here. As you can see, there's the water level in the cup. It's about a half inch away, right there. We are a, right at 70 degrees. I don't know if you can see it. It's at 70 on my thermometer I have in here. Um, we have a winter storm coming through um, here in a couple of days, so I need to get this done. I'll get this all wrapped up real tight, and the lights and everything will stay on. I'll lower my lights where they need to be, and then we'll be good to go. All right, so let me get this, finish all these other ones up. I've got a bunch of seeds to do. I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like seven, seven containers I need to get filled. So, we need to get going. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, there we go. I got everything done. I have three more holes I can do here. And I also have another one down here to do. And I'm going to go through my seats tonight and see, because I have enough room to put that other one right here. So, as you can see, what do we, I don't even know what we've got here. We've got two, four, six, there's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That, uh, eight times seven is what, 56? So, minus 53 seeds planted. In here, I've got for ranging from uh, tomato plants, and I had some old tomato plant seeds. I'm gonna try them. They're three years old hiccups. Ah, uh, this tomato plant right here, seeds one, two, three are from um, John. Will it grow? The plants that he sent me. Um, also, uh, uh, sunflowers are here, and watermelons are there. Um, here's our jalapenos and our pumpkins and everything else you can see back there. Cucumbers, um, the squash, acorn, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, all that good stuff's in here. And as long as I keep this thing closed down and get it heated, and we'll be good. So I'm fixing to close the door down and let it happen. So we're good for tonight. And tomorrow, if I need to do another round, I can do another round if I have to. I'll go through my seeds. I just wanted to show you how I close this thing down. You all seen the video I had to it last year. And there it is. It sits in here. I'm going to drop those down later on. I'm going in and go look for some seeds. But that's what I do. 